Okay, so what's going on guys? Back here with Drug the Reviews and welcome back to another video. So this video is mainly for my Malaysian viewers because it is regarding the brand new Enhanced Touch and Go card. So I believe that this card is a really good update, especially now with the e-wallet system by Touch and Go. Uh, I think this really complements the system and I think that this system should have been implemented in many years back. But anyway, it's better late than never. So I actually got my hands on two of these cards. So I have one here for the unboxing, another one which I'm going to be using as my daily card. So this can be used uh, similarly to the touch and go card, which means you can use it for all our public transport systems, our toll systems, basically anywhere that has the touch and go feature, you can actually use this card. So the main point of actually upgrading to the enhanced card over the previous card is that uh, you can actually now reload via NFC so of course this feature is only limited to phones that support NFC if you're on iPhone uh, you won't have a problem because iPhone has had NFC for the past many many years uh, if you're on Android and you are on uh, just say the mid-range of flagship models you will definitely have NFC mainly if you're on, on iOS you, know, you have an iOS device you will not have to worry about NFC but if you're an Android user you do have to check whether your phone supports NFC because uh, this card is uh, quite reliant on NFC or mainly reliant on NFC I'm sure uh, from what I can see because uh, it always shows the sort of like K-Wave logo on the app so you do need to update this app as well in order to get this logo so I'll be showing you guys close up right now so you can see right here touch and go card so this means that it's updated to the latest version which can support the enhanced touch and go card so right here I have the card this is how it will come when you order it you see the, the seals are actually removed so it'll be easier to do the video uh, so inside you will just get instructions on how to enroll the card into your touch and go app which i'll be showing you guys in detail and also the card itself which i think looks really good really modern uh, i like the sort of the shade uh, shades of color right here which is very nice so this is an enhanced card so let me just take this off of course i won't be showing you guys the serial number because it's for being linking this to my touch and go account so you can see right here you can pause this and read it for yourself so basically that's it now uh, this card costs 10 ringgit and it does not have any uh, balance on the inside which means it's not reloaded before you do have to reload it for the first time when you register this card on your account okay so let's do it right now this is my very first time doing it actually to be honest um, i just wanted to explore this uh, whole procedure with you guys and see whether it is user friendly enough so you can see my balance not that much um, so you can see right here you do have to click on the touch and go card so you can add card right here so I have a couple of cards with me so you can see right here you can add card so you can see right here you can actually scan this card with the, at the back of my device so I'm using a 12 Pro for this uh, demonstration so I do have the Maxif ring I'm not sure whether that will affect but let's try it out so let me click on this so you can see you have a tutorial which says let's begin continue so you can see ready to scan so you can put it at the back for five seconds so let's do it right now that didn't even take five seconds so you can see right here this is the card serial number and then preferred card name which i will key in right now so give me a second I'm actually key in as my name Okay, so you can see you have to agree and you're done with that. And you have to scan your face, which I'm doing right now. Okay, so now that I've done that, you can see the card is actually enrolled. And you can see that my card has zero balance. So basically, there is no uh, money in this card right now. The best part of this is that you do not have to pay the surcharge, which is like charge at every uh, LRT station. We do reload LRT station, petrol station, 7 11 99 speed money shops like that uh, they charge 50 cent per transaction and i think it's limited to 20 ringgit every 20 ringgit they charge like 50 cents if i'm not mistaken so i think that's kind of ridiculous is that we prepay the money for all these services and yet we get surcharged uh, but now with this card uh, all those things are gone so you can see right here you can add another card or do i have to scan it again let me see Put it right behind here. Here's a card. Okay, so same error again. So invalid card details. So let's try it again. Yeah, so now you can see 
card details detected you can see that there's zero balance so let's try to reload just like a couple of ringgit so all you need to do is prepare your touch and go card ready to be using so you say continue ready to scan just touch the card right here so you have the details detected okay so now you can just reload i think it's a minimum of 10 ringgit yes it's a minimum of 10 ringgit let's reload 10 ringgit so let's reload now scan my face okay so now it's processing so let's give it a moment and let's scan the card again okay let's try that one more time my internet connection is a little bit spotty right here uh, let's try that again okay so it shows reload unsuccessful okay let's do that one more time I, I believe this is nothing to do with uh, uh, touch and go app fault is basically my my network here is basically uh, unusable as I'm on Maxis though and it's really unusable you can see the signal just went off so now let's try it again one more time you just click reload and scan the card See, cut details detected. So reload unsuccessful, doesn't matter. Let's try it again. Let's reload 10 ringgit. Scan my face. You can see 10 ringgit. Then let's scan the card again one more time. Ah, so it failed again. Ah, man. Okay, this is kind of uh, getting frustrating this point but let's, uh, let's give it a third try third time's a charm so let's 10 we got for now okay. scan my face it's not that secure though the face scanning thing something like those how those android phones actually scan face anyways we do it this time yeah so you do have to hold it slightly longer it was my bad uh, so you can see reload successful. I do have 10 ringgit reloaded to my new enhanced touch and go card, which is uh, honestly really awesome. Uh, yeah, so now I know the, how the process works, and I'm sure you guys have seen the process as well. Uh, how it felt when I didn't like hold it long enough. But once you do uh, go through the proper steps, it's all good to go. So you can check balance. So in order to check balance, you do have to tap the card. Give it a moment. Yeah, I guess uh, the NFC chip is up here, so let's uh, try it one more time. And it shows error again. Hmm, I guess it's not my problem after all. One more time, let's give it a moment to detect. Yeah, so yeah, that did take a moment. I bet it's also the magnet I have behind here, it's affecting the NFC. So we do have. 10 ringgits you can see right here so yeah so that's basically uh the touch and go card in a nutshell you can see my transaction history is already loaded 10 ringgit okay so in conclusion uh actually i think that this is actually a step in the right direction for the touch and go system if this had come out before rfid i would have picked this over rfid because if you do have your smart tech machine you can actually use this in your smart tech machine which is Honestly, really awesome because honestly, my experience with RFID has been like not as consistent as I expected it to be. So honestly, the most consistent uh, experience you're gonna get is from this card with the Smart Tech machine. So if you're going that route, I believe this is the best value for money because it's only 10 ringgit. You can reload it via the app, unlike RFID, which costs like 35 ringgit, I believe 30 to 35 ringgit, and that is like only can be used in your car and with your car. But this you can actually move it around to different vehicles, use it for public transport and so on and so forth. So this, I believe this 10 ringgit is really, really worth it. That's about it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how the process is. I mean, this is still a very, very new uh, card and the new system. So I will definitely give it a chance to improve. So definitely there will be app updates and improving the reliability and stability of the system. So yeah, I'm going to give them a chance with that. But so far, so good. It is definitely working, that's for sure. Uh, even though I had to try a couple of times. But so far, so good. And uh, 
yeah, I'm really excited to actually use this card because I use uh, train uh, LRT once in a while and I do use toll roads almost every day. So this card is going to be a really great addition uh, to my daily life and ease of use. So actually I don't have to go to a, a petrol station or something and reload my card which is kind of uh, annoying because sometimes the system is offline as well. So if you do have any questions or comments, do leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try to get your questions answered. Uh, so that's about it for this video guys. Hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.